Hey Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. I hope you all are doing fine. Thank you for tuning in. This is Pretty Intuitive back with another one. Let's take a look to see what you need to know about your love life right now, what may be coming. Um, keep an open mind as these messages are general. Okay, anything I'm saying may be playing out from your um, perspective or your person's perspective. All right, let's see what we have. Coming to Aquarius in love. Is it just me or does it feel like people are super negative with our readings? I, I don't know what that's about. I don't know. Sometimes I think they may be misreading the energy because we're probably the ones that are like in our heads <laughs> and low-key sabotaging stuff. But I don't know. Just Aquarius readings are always so negative on here. Um, if it's not another Aquarius reader, you know, I'm starting to feel like something's wrong with that picture. All right. So what's coming to Aquarius in love? What do we have, please, Aquarius? What's coming to Aquarius in love, spirit, angels? What do we have, Aquarius? Okay, so you do have the Ten of Cups. What's coming to Aquarius in love? A Nine of Cups. Okay. Was coming to Aquarius in love. So, so far, so good. Um, hmm. Wow. So you have the nine of wands and the moon. Aquarius, are you thinking that someone is too good to be true? That's what I'm getting from this. Like, you feel like someone is too good to be true. Um, you're definitely on the fence. Okay. Some of you, if you have, like, some kind of history with this person, I do feel like... Maybe in the past they let you down, obviously, okay? Um, or something happened in the past between you guys to where you're guarded and you're uncertain, you're afraid, okay? So fear is here. Now, if this is not someone that you have too much of history with and this is just someone that you are uh, dating at this time or whatever, yeah, I do feel like you're guarded or the person you're connecting with could be, okay? That's what I feel. You have the five of cups, mm-hmm. What's coming to Aquarius in love? I feel like it's, 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 you're starting to kind of like feel that love is not really, true love doesn't exist or it's just not something that would happen to you or something. I don't know. I do feel like you're operating from a lot of fear and from your past experiences are obviously making you feel this way with the five of cups. Okay. Or the person you're connecting with, keep, please keep an open mind, okay? What's coming to Aquarius in love? Tell me more. Mm -hmm. Like, it just feels like you are... Oof. Sorry, guys. You have the Four of Wands, okay? What's coming to Aquarius in love? Anything else, Spirit Aquarius? Yeah, you seem to be um, overall very afraid, very worried. <laughs> and it's not funny, but I just know as an Aquarius, it's like it makes a lot of sense for us. Or the person you're connecting with could be really, really afraid of their feelings for you. You know, they're really afraid of how strongly they feel like you guys resonate with each other. And I, I'm getting this feeling about... Man, this must be too good to be true. I'm probably going to get hurt or let down again. You know, I'm probably not going to ever experience the Ten of Cups. Or, I don't know, it does feel a little bit negative. I'm not going to lie, okay? That doesn't necessarily mean that that's true. That's just, a, you know, um, an account of your own experiences, which could be making you feel that way. Which is understandable. We all have been through it. Let's come into Aquarius in love. Tell me more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm um, getting, Aquarius. You have the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're definitely in your head. I feel like somebody likes you a lot. Okay. And you know what I'm hearing, Chris? I'm hearing something about you. Like, you're like, I'm such a good person. Like, I'm such a pure person. I'm so loving. I have a lot of love to offer. Um... You know, I really want to find my person type of thing and stuff like that. 
um, Aquarius. But I feel, you know, and it makes you, it, it makes you feel down. It does. Okay. Um, and I feel like you want nothing more. You want it so bad. You want this so bad. Now it could be talking about how much, how badly you want, you know, this with, with your person of interest, right? Um, it could be talking about that. You want it so badly with this person, you know, I don't know why this reading is kind of making me a bit emotional because yeah, you want this so bad with this person and you feel like this person is like everything um, that you've waited for, that you've prayed for, that you've wished for. And the fact that, you know, I feel like you're also afraid of losing this person or you're afraid of things going wrong. You're afraid of what you're feeling for them. Okay. Now, this could be a mutual feeling or just your feelings or their feelings. Remember I said that in the beginning. Um, so let's talk about the signs here. I do get Pisces. I do get Aries. I do get Scorpio. I do get Taurus and Libra. Okay. So, um, but it's, it's crazy because you, you have the emperor and the empress here. So this tells you all that you need to know. Okay. Um, Whoever this person is that you're you're connecting with, I feel like you guys are divine counterparts. You and this person complement each other really well. You guys are the perfect match for one another. And usually when these two show up, it usually means that, you know, this is the person you, you might go on to marry. Okay, this is the person that you could spend your life with here. Um, and for some of you, that that alone is enough to, like, fill you up with anxiety. <laughs> because there's so much to lose, you know, um... And it's crazy. I feel like you have a lot of affection for them. You love them a lot. You deeply love and care for this person. And you're afraid that this is not true. You know, like you, you're afraid that this person will leave you one day or, you know, this feeling will go away. You know, okay, so here's what I'm getting. It's this that song by Queen Nyjah. Um, when she says she doesn't want to fall so fast. But I'm open. They always say that good things never last. And I know because I've been broken. I'm trying to protect my heart, but you're making it so hard. Um, I just want to hold you all night long. Whenever I'm around you, nothing's wrong. I'm hoping that you'll always be around. You got me on a high. I don't want to come down. So it's like this person makes you feel like you're in a fairy tale. You have so much feelings for them. It feels like exhilarating being with this person, being in their presence. It's just, everything is amazing. I'm hearing that this is going so well, okay? And that scares you because you're like, bro, when, <laughs> you're like, when are the cameras going to come out? Am I being punked? Is this really it? Is this really it? You're in your head a lot, Aquarius. Um, and whoever you're connecting with, um, again, if it's not you, this person's in their head a lot. You know, they, they know that they have a lot to lose with you, okay? Maybe they're used to people abandoning them or not being who they say they are or tricking them okay i feel like someone's afraid of being tricked okay nine of swords for aquarius to love nine of swords um and i'm uh, yeah you're afraid of being abandoned aquarius someone someone's afraid of being abandoned some of you don't get me wrong maybe they abandoned you before and you're afraid of that happening again you just you're so afraid of getting hurt Look how he's looking at the three of swords. And the five of coins is a card of abandonment. Some of you have fallen for this person very fast or your feelings are just on. It's like, I'm hearing that song by Diana Ross, sweetest um, love hangover. Yeah. And you feel like you don't want this feeling to ever go away. Like you, sometimes you feel like you're in a dream with this person um, and you're afraid. Okay. Some of you are afraid about the pace at, at which it's going. And I'm hearing some of you are used to things failing. You're used to things not going white. You're used to liars, people who trick you, people who are freaks. Okay. Um, and the fact that this person hasn't stopped loving you, they haven't stopped talking to you. They haven't stopped caring. They're, they're here by your side. And all these things is like, of course you appreciate it and you love that. But at the same time, you're like, Will you always be here though? Okay, so yeah, I'm getting that strongly. I feel like this is someone you are giving a chance. Okay, you will give this connection, this person a chance. But at the same time, 
you know, you're still going to be in your head here. Okay. Five of Cups for Aquarius in love. So Spirit is urging you, Aquarius, to not put so much focus on the past. Okay. Or what went wrong and things like that. Okay. Because if you keep doing that, you might, you know, ultimately, obviously sabotage, you know, this connection. Um, yeah. See what I'm trying to say? I feel like Aquarius, you are attached to what went wrong in the past. Okay. But spirit is trying to let you know that it's trying to, it's time to let that go. It's time to transition out of that. Okay. Um, it's time to accept that it's just illusions in your mind. It's just things, negativity that you're telling yourself. And it doesn't mean that it's true. Okay. Um, I do believe whoever this person is that's in your life or coming towards you um, deserves a fair chance, Aquarius. You know, you do have justice in the star. They deserve a fair chance. Okay. I'm hearing someone saying like they won't hurt you. Okay. Um, or something like that. Eight of Wands. Okay, so this person really wants to go to the next level with you, Aquarius. They want to go to the next level. They have mutual feelings for you. Um, they want to get this party started. But you have the moon again. But you're like, oh, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Um, the moon for Aquarius. Yeah, you're like, is this too good to be true? Is what I'm feeling, should I really, you know, approach this open-heartedly? Um, or should I keep my wall up? So what you need to know, Aquarius, is that this person is not out to get you, honey. They are not. They're not out to get you. Now, for those of you, if you have a history, like this is your ex-wife, your ex-husband, or an ex or something that you're thinking about getting back together with, obviously there was some pain here i don't know if this person just walked away or you know there was something more like nefarious done here but they they want forgiveness and i feel like if you're able to really forgive this person aquarius then you guys could go on to have a really stable um situation okay and i feel like you could be happy with them um it just depends on what what you want to do here okay but yeah um you're suspicious. You're like, what do you really want from me? You, oh my goodness. Your guard is all the way up, Aquarius. So again, if you're connecting with a Pisces, if you're connecting with a uh, an Aries, even a Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, okay? This reading is most likely for you here, okay? So let's get a little bit more um, information. What does Aquarius need to know and love, please? Aquarius. Okay. So you do have a reconciliation, love for Aquarius. So this may be someone that you end up reconnecting with. There is definitely a lot of chemistry with you and this person. It is saying that this could be the one. Um, you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. And you also have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Okay. So I feel like there's also a need to just kind of like discuss this with them. You know, tell them how you're feeling. Express how scared you are. It's okay. I feel like they would understand you. Um, and I feel like they want to stay by your side. I don't think that, you know, they want to leave you or anything. Okay. You have worth waiting for. Okay. So if your person's acting like this with you, it's worth waiting for Aquarius. I know how, you know, it's probably really difficult dealing with this person, um, and their guard being all the way up. But I feel like if you stick by their side, um, they will come around. Okay. Because regardless, it's hard to fuck up the emperor and the empress connection because it's like, you guys are perfect for one another. You guys are each other's match a hundred percent. And, um, it usually means that, you know, this is the person that you're really, you're supposed to marry. Okay. You're supposed to be with long-term. Um, okay. So that is what we have. But if this could be the one who's coming to Aquarius in love. Okay. Relationship. 
So this person does want a relationship with you. Okay, they want a commitment. They want to be your boyfriend. They want to be your girlfriend or however, okay, you want to call it. Um, you do have new love. Somebody does want new love with you. Okay, you have soulmate. Um, social media, maybe you met them on social media. You also have date. Okay, courting, dating, anniversary, meetup. And you also have healing, wounds, improving, mending, and progress, relation, oh, sorry, wedding, marriage, forever, the one union. So I'm telling you, this is someone that you can go on to marry um, as long as your heart is open. And trust me, Aquarius, like this person knows that you are someone they could also go on to marry. No matter how afraid they are. I mean, this freak is terrified. I'm talking about terrified. Of how much they love you, how much they like you, you know, it's scaring them because they know there's a lot more at stake here if they lose this connection or if you hurt them or something like this freak will like go down into a downward spiral. Okay. What do you want to tell Aquarius about this love connection coming towards them? They want to say, um, toxic story, new opportunity. So I do feel like the reason why. You know, someone's thinking like this is because they've experienced toxicity in the past. Okay. And the fact that they've experienced this toxicity, you know, this is replaying over and over in their mind. Okay. But, uh, you know, union, serious relationship, marriage, you have true love. Okay. This is an honest connection. This is a, a, a pure love. Okay. All right, so you have a mature man, okay? So this person, you know, could be very mature. Um, I feel like this person knows exactly what, what they want. This person could be a little darker for some of you, okay? And you also have destiny. Luck, chance, meant to be. So, soulmate. So, I mean, you could be as afraid as you want. See, it's crazy because mature man and mature woman, you both really... You know, you cherish monogamy. You cherish um, relationships. You respect your relationships. You both know what, what you want. That's good. Because the empress and the emperor, they're both mature. This person fits you. They're on your level. Okay? That's what I feel. Okay? Spiritual growth. This person's good for your spiritual growth. All right? All right, Aquarius, so that is what I have for you. Um, let's go ahead and pull some channel songs to see what's going on in this person's mind, heart space. <clears throat> okay, what song wants to come through for the Aquarian Collective here? What song wants to come through for the Aquarian Collective spirit? What song wants to come through for Aquarius? Wow. So what wants to come through is Someone to Love You by Rough Ends. And basically, you know, that song is saying like, okay, someone who's been single for a long time by choice because they have trust issues. They're afraid of opening their heart. They're afraid of being, you know, uh, disappointed. Okay, and it's saying, all you got to do is tell me that you want me to be with you, you know, and I'll be there. So there's a certain level of vulnerability that comes along with um, this connection. Someone wants the other person to be more vulnerable. Maybe you both need to try to be more vulnerable. You both could be struggling with this, especially if you are twin flames. You know, you have similar fears. <laughs> you have similar traumas and whatnot. You know, this could even be a mirroring thing, okay? What song wants to come through for Aquarius? What song wants to come through for Aquarius? Okay. So you have Lied to Me by Kim. And if you don't know that song, that song is basically... <laughs> It's basically saying um, 
he's he's saying in a song you don't have to lie to me you know I've already got the ring I'm ready to wife you girl I'm ready I'm ready to love you I'm ready to you know do everything okay <laughs> you don't have to be anything other than yourself I won't change you you know I love you just the way that you are you're my shining star that's what he's saying in that song okay so it's like you don't even have to do much for this person they are already ready to love you honey um and vice versa You know, all they want is you really at the end of the day. Okay. So we have Butterflies by Alicia Keys. And that's literally one of my favorite songs. So um, Butterflies by Alicia Keys. She's saying that she never knew um, there was really a love like this. She never felt like this before. And, um, you know, you give, she was like, you give me butterflies. Got me flying so high in the sky. I can't control the butterflies. And she was like, never did I imagine such a feeling. Joy is what you bring. I want to give you everything. So I hope this resonates uh, for you, Aquarius. And then finally, you have I'll Give All My Love to You. I'm I think this came out already, last reading. Um, so this person's willing to give all their love to you. That's all they want to do. And in the song, he's like, I won't, I won't ever do anything to hurt you. I'll give all my love to you. And if you need me, baby, I'll come running only to you. So both of these songs are similar with the words when it's saying, all you got to tell me is you want me to be with you. Just open up. Just tell me that you need me. You want me. <sighs> okay. So anyway, <laughs> Aquarius, I hope that you guys uh, found this reading helpful, my darlings. Okay. Um, who is this person that is coming through for Aquarius? Let's get all the uh, signs out and I will pull them from this deck. Okay. This could be sun, moon, rising, and Venus, guys. Please keep that in mind. Just going to separate the zodiac signs. Angels, who is coming through in this reading for the Aquarius Collective? Who is this reading talking about for Aquarius? Aquarius. Okay, so this reading could be talking about a Taurus. Who is this reading talking about for Aquarius? Who is this reading talking about for Aquarius? Aquarius. Okay, this reading is talking about a Gemini. Who is this reading talking about for Aquarius? Especially for my singles out there, you're definitely going to find your person, okay? Um, who is this reading talking about for Aquarius? Anything else? Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We do have Scorpio. reading talking about for Aquarius we have a Virgo who's this reading talking about for Aquarius two more who's this reading talking about we have Pisces <clears throat> okay and then finally we do have Aries okay Alrighty guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope it brought you some clarity. There is so much fear. Like, I don't think I've seen this in a reading like this much uh, apprehension and fear in such a long time, okay? Like this is a lot of fear going on here, but no matter how much fear there is, I do think you guys are still going to proceed. Um, and it's saying this person could be the one, okay? Thank you for being here with me, Aquarius, and I hope you guys enjoy this reading. 
talk to you guys soon.